Hey guys, Chris here, and today I'm going to be doing, I guess you could call it sort of a vlog or something, because I call all these videos update videos, and I do them too often, so I'm probably just going to start calling these vlogs. But uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys some of the figures I'm working on. For those of you who don't know, I have an Instagram. I'm going to try to put a link to it in the description of this video, but if I forget to, you guys can... If you go to my About tab, there's a link there, so you guys could check it out. Anyway, so, the Logan figures, as you can see, they're still the exact same as before. I haven't done anything to them, which I really need to get started. And also, the hairpiece, if any of you are from Wavy Films channel, and you see I have this hairpiece... I actually used it first before he did, because I posted a video last month of it, and I posted an Instagram picture before he did as well. So, if any of you say I copied, he actually copied me, sort of. Just, I don't know why I had to get that out, but I did. And then for X-23, her shoes is still the same thing. I don't know if they're accurate. I'm going to try and fix them. And her arms need to be painted, and she needs her claws, and her shirt, and her sunglasses, and she'll be done. Next, I want to show you guys two new figures that I'm working on, if the camera will focus. As you can see in the background, I started working on figures from the Justice League movie. Here we have The Flash, if the camera will focus, it doesn't want to, seems to want to focus. I've already painted his torso. His torso is almost done. I still got to paint the back, but there's no reference for that right now. So, his head is completely done. His hands are half done. His arms aren't even done. His legs aren't done. So, I got to work on that. But the torso is almost complete. I really like how it turned out with the lightning bolt and everything. If you want, if you guys want to see a comparison to my CW, oops. CW Flash, since the lightning bolt on this one's a little bigger, it came out nicer. But I mean, for how tiny I had to paint the one on the CW Flash, I think it came out pretty good. And then there's Batman, which I started on him before the Flash, but I never really completed him. I just started working on him today. As you can see, he's got a lot of 3D elements to him. Got a cape. He's using the new 52 Batman cowl. And guys get an early look at what his face looks like. I used this head because I felt it looked a little more like Ben Affleck. Even though it is supposed to be Chris Pratt. But uh, I felt it looked sort of like Ben Affleck. And plus it has like the facial hair on it. And I don't have any other heads like that. So, yeah, and I'll tell you guys, for those of you who watch the video now, since I'm not going to be doing anything in November, I'll tell you guys what I used to get the 3D elements on these figures. I actually used cardstock paper. And I might have some here. Nope, I thought I had put away somewhere. I thought I would have had cardstock paper lying around. Nope, I guess I don't. If you guys want to get some of this cardstock... Oh, wait, I actually do have the pack up here. If you guys want to get some of this cardstock paper, I got it at, like, a Target. You get it for, like, 50 cents. I got a whole pack here. You can see... And I did color on one of them. Well, not color, I drew on one of them. I guess you call it color, whatever. And I did stick it back in here, but it needs to get taken out. But yeah, so you can get a whole pack like this of like 100 for, or I think, I don't know, it's 100 or so for 50 cents. And so that's what I've been using. So that's why if you see, like the 
the wings on the side of the Flash's helmet actually isn't that same um, note card paper. What I used the, for that was I took, like you see this type of cardboard that I have here. It's like it come, I got it off of some jeans. I didn't take them off jeans at the store. I got them off some jeans that I bought. And since it's a nice thick, as you can see here, it's a thick cardboard, I decided to use that. These are also the same, this is the same type of cardboard stuff that I use for Kid Flash's wings on the side of his helmet. I basically just cut them out the same way, but a little bit bigger. A tiny bit, not so much. And then I glued them to the mask. Now the torso is that note card paper and I layered it together to look like armor. I'm probably only going to do that for the torsos and stuff on these figures. I'm probably not going to do it anywhere else like the arms or the legs. That'll get painted on. But uh, And then the Iron Man as you can see, it's still the same. I haven't done anything to it. His helmet's still just painted. I gotta start working on him. And then Captain America. This is actually a figure you guys won't be seeing on my channel. I'll probably post a picture of it on Instagram once it is complete. But this is, um... Probably not gonna do a video on it. But you guys get to see. It's for someone else. It's not for me. It's for my cousin. Um... They don't know that I'm making them this yet, but they do know, not they, well, I know that the person really likes Captain America, so I decided to make my cousin a Captain America custom. I painted the shield in the metallic color, and I painted the boots, and I, paint, I colored in those red lines with like a different blue color and I did the same thing with the back and then I just gotta finish up the arms and the legs and add some details to the head and that should be done and then in the back you can see that this hair piece right here that's the hair piece I'm gonna be using for Wonder Woman from the Justice League movie now I do have this hair piece which is the actual hair piece that's used for that Lego's Wonder Woman figure. But her hair isn't this poofed out, I guess. It's not big like this. It's a little thinner. Like this hair piece from the Agent 13 from the Civil War Airport Battle set. Captain America Civil War Airport ba Superhero Airport Battle. I got an extra one of those hair pieces, so that's why I decided to paint it. I was going to use it for my black cat figure, but I decided not to. And I'm going to use it for Wonder Woman. This hair piece actually does work for Aquaman, though. Like, I'm going to paint like the, the bottom of it in a blondish color. But this hair, the way it is, this is a hair that works for Aquaman. So this is what I'm going to use for Aquaman. I don't know how I'm going to do Cyborg yet, but the reason also I'm working on all these figures early is for one re thing is so, one, so nobody could say that I copied them or you copied MGF or anything because I made a Daredevil figure and I keep getting comments and stuff, people saying that this looks exactly like MGF's figure. Daredevil is the same. I took certain things from MGF's figure, but the Daredevil figure, everyone's is going to come out looking similar. I mean, there's nothing really you can do unless you change up his design or something. But Daredevil's going to be the, the same. So that's one of the reasons I'm working on these figures early. So one, nobody could say that I copied. And two, I got nothing else to do right now. But uh, once I'm done with the Logan figures, and once I'm done with the Wonder Woman figure, which I'm probably not going to do a, um, a video on when the movie comes out for Wonder Woman, I'm probably going to just save her till the Justice League movie. But cause the reason being is because I don't want to showcase it twice, like talk about the same things twice. 
I usually do that for my contest vid entry videos. I wind up talking about the same figure twice, or two or three times, multiple times. So, uh, yeah, I don't really want to do that too much anymore. So I'm going to just probably do her during the when the Justice League movie comes out. I'll showcase her. Because that's when I want all my showcases to come out, is when these movies comes out, come out. But, uh, yes, yeah, so, um, it's not really a, much else for me to say, other than Batman's legs. I messed one up with super glue, and I got cut up and stuff from the way I tried to do his legs. You can see, so those are scrapped, which I could have used these. Good thing is, I had an extra pair, as you see there, which... The the um, legs and the arm and the torso and stuff and the arms are all from, except for the hands, I use black gloves, are all from this Ultron these Ultron figures, which I just erased all the print off of it and, and I just knocked something over. I erased all the print off of it and I'm gonna paint all my own details on there. Cause the Batman in these movies he doesn't have a light gray suit like the Legos light gray that they like to use for Batman figures. He's more of a dark gray. Let me see that. Sorry guys, just hold on one second. Sorry about that, I couldn't find my Batman figure. And his cape is kind of dirty some for some reason, which I don't know why. It was in a case. But, um, yeah, you see the light gray that Lego uses on their Batman minifigures? The Batman from the Justice League, he isn't that light of a gray. He doesn't have that light of a gray color to him. To him. He is a much darker, like this gunmetal gray from the Ultron suits. So that's what I... As soon as I saw the trailer for Justice League and I decided I was going to make figures, that's what I... Um, I immediately wanted to use that gunmetal gray color from the Ultron um, Century minifigures. That's what I decided to go with. But uh, yeah, for now... After I'm done with the Logan figures, and I do whatever I can with the Justice League figures and stuff, and I finish up my Spider-Man Homecoming figures, which I'm probably not going to until we get more pictures of, like, the Vulture and stuff. And, um, Iron Man, I'm gonna try and work on him little by little. But, uh, once I'm done with all that, I gonna have really nothing else to work on until there's more reference for the Justice League figures until we finally get a few trailers and pictures and stuff of the Star Wars 8 so I can make minifigures for Star Wars 8 but um yeah after that I'm going to work on some figures from Batman Arkham Asylum it's one of the games that I've really enjoyed playing I've been playing it a lot recently, so I decided that I would, um, I'm not finished with it though, I'm at the, some of you will know what part, if you guys have played it, I'm at the part with uh, Poison Ivy trying to defeat her, I got kind of stuck there. I was playing Arkham Origins, but I'm also stuck there at Deathstroke, so that's not really fun it's taken up a while to try and figure out how to defeat these guys but yeah for now 
Once I'm done, I'm probably going to work on some Arkham Asylum figures like Poison Ivy, um, Scarecrow, possibly Killer Croc. Um, what other figures could I work on from that? Oh, yeah, and um, the Joker, Nurse Harley Quinn, Batman. So I'm going to work on at least six different figures from the game. I'm probably not going to do Commissioner Gordon or anybody else. Or Z Zaz. Victor Zaz. I'm probably just going to do, like I was saying, the Scarecrow, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, the Joker, Killer Croc, and Batman. But uh, yeah, the, guys, this video has dragged on long enough so uh, I guess I'm gonna end it here and go back to working on some more figures and I'll see you all in or talk to you all in the next video and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe for more videos for and also so you guys can see my customs when they're finally finished and I guess that's it so bye